This snippet is Working with Sketchflow Animation. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn how to create animations in Sketchflow that simulate user behavior such as adding a product to a shopping cart. To get started, you'll want to go ahead and open up the Snowboard Online project associated with the snippet. If necessary, choose Window, Sketchflow Animation in order to open the Sketchflow Animation panel. Now the user interaction that we're going to be animating here is the following. We'd like to demonstrate what it would look like when a user comes in, places their cursor over this yellow boot. A price will appear, and then the user will click and drag the boot into this cart. As soon as they do so, that price will also reflect in the cart, and additionally, a screen advertising a sale will animate from the left-hand side of the screen into the center. And in fact, if you click and drag the scroll bar here to the left, you'll see that sale screen I just mentioned. And if you click and drag to the right, you can see some other elements that we're going to be putting into place before we animate. So the two elements we're going to be putting into place are this one here, the yellow rock price of $2.99, and this one here, which is the yellow rock section that will go into the cart. One thing I want to point out, you can either select these items by clicking on them, but additionally, you can go ahead and look within the Objects and Timeline panel. Sometimes it's easier to select items here than it is by clicking. Go ahead and select the yellow rock in the cart section as I've done here, and you can either click and drag or use your left arrow to move it over to the cart. Next, go ahead and click on the yellow rock price and place it right above this yellow boot here. Now with that yellow rock price still selected, within the Properties panel, locate the Opacity section, click on the value labeled 100%, and then type 0 and press Return. What this will do is make that price invisible. Again, do the same thing. Click on the yellow rock in the cart section, then choose Opacity and type 0. Click anywhere off screen to deselect. The reason we're doing this is so that we can set the stage for the animation. We want both of those items to be invisible when the animation begins, and then we'll animate them as needed. So let's go ahead and start. Within the Sketchflow Animation panel, click on the plus sign to add your first animation. The first animation is simply going to be this cursor moving from the right-hand side of the screen over the boot. So place your cursor over the user cursor, and then drag that on top of the yellow boot. Now in the Sketchflow Animation panel, go ahead and press the play button, and let's watch the animation play. Fairly straightforward. Now let's go ahead and add a new animation. Right-click on that thumbnail, Choose Insert New. And what you'll see now is that the animation picks up where it left off. So now what we'd like to do is make the price of that boot animate. So place your cursor immediately above the boot, click once, go back to the Appearance section and change the opacity from 0 to 100%, and then press Return. So this will automatically create an animation. Now let's add a little visual flair by clicking on that boot, placing our cursor on the bottom right-hand corner, and then dragging down and to the right to expand it slightly. So this will simulate the appearance of the boot being selected. Let's go ahead and play this. So far so good. However, you'll notice that there's a small hesitation from one animation to the next. We can actually modify this by changing what's called the hold time. So the hold time for the first animation is one second. Let's click on that, type zero, and press return, and then press play. And what you'll see is that your animation appears to be a little quicker. Next up, let's go ahead and add a third animation. Right click over the second thumbnail and choose insert new. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select the cursor and the boot and move them into the cart. If necessary, shift click the user cursor and the boot to select them both, and then use your arrow keys to move it up and into the cart. Now don't worry too much about that position. What will happen is Sketchflow will automatically animate between the first position and the second, so it really doesn't matter what path you take. I'm going to go ahead and place that boot right here in the middle of the cart. I'd also like that price to disappear as the boot leaves the area, so I'm going to click on that price, go over to the Appearance section and change the opacity to zero. Let's go ahead and play that. and we're in good shape. Again, click on that last or the third thumbnail, 
And what we're now going to do is we're going to animate the price appearing. So let's right click one more time and insert a fourth animation. In order to select the boot, I'm actually going to go over to the Objects and Timeline panel located here and click on Image 1, which is my boot. That selects it, and now I'm going to change the opacity of this to make it disappear. I'm going to click on the Appearance section, and for Opacity, I'll again put 0. Now also in the Objects and Timeline panel, I'm going to locate this element, the yellow rock in cart. So this is the entire section that contains all of those pieces. I'm going to go ahead and change the opacity to 100 and press return. Now at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and scroll to the left hand side of the screen. Now I'm going to go ahead and select that sales screen by clicking and dragging over it to select it. And then I'll use my right arrow key to move it into the middle of the screen. Okay, let's scroll over to the middle of the screen and let's look at our animation. I'm going to press play. And we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and look at this animation in the Sketchflow player by choosing Project, Run Project. Once the Sketchflow player appears, I'm going to click on the Welcome section. And then I'll go ahead and click on the Boots button. Now you'll notice that in the upper left hand corner in the Navigate section, we've got the Sketchflow animation that we can play. Go ahead and click on that and our animation will play. So there you have it. Now the animation might not be as smooth or as realistic as you might want, but remember this is just a prototype. We simply want to get the idea across. However, you can always go back and tweak the hold times as we did earlier if you want to make this a little bit more realistic. So thank you for now. This is Jeremy Osborne presenting for AGI Training for Microsoft.